Now we're heading south. I've got a very busy intersection coming up. We're going on the 580 on our way to Mariposa, which is a quaint little town um, just shy of Yosemite. Um, heading towards Merced, where we will turn off and take the 140 which will take us into Mariposa. Quite industrial around here. We've seen all sorts of landscapes today from, agri <coughs> from agriculture to prairie to industrial. Um, I'm now deaf, I deafer. I'm home on the range where the deer and the angel won't play.
California, off to Sequoia National Park. Up ahead you can see the Sierra Nevada mountains. Obviously we're kind of going down the side of them. We've taken a prettier route today rather than the quickest one. So we're on the Route 49, but it's only five minutes longer um, and it's more through the mountains. So we decided to take this route today from Mariposa down to Three Rivers. Oakhurst and we're now on route 41, highway 41, heading down into Fresno, which is a name that I'm sure we've all heard, uh, where we then pick up uh, the 99, I think it is, to go to Three Rivers. This is General Sherman tree, claimed to be the biggest tree in the world. It's actually dead at the top, but it's the volume that makes it the largest tree. So there are others nearby. And there's also the Congress Trail, which you can walk, which shows you some other giant sequoias as well. Uh, as you can see around here, it's absolutely beautiful and very quiet. It's a Wednesday, it's a good day to come. driving all the way down via Bakersfield to Yucca Valley 
which is basically right on the outskirts of the Joshua Tree National Park, which is where we're going to next. Phil's had a look at the route and we are going to be driving through quite a bit of desert today. It's a long drive, uh, it's going to be around five hours, so we will have a stop on the way. Um, but you know we've had a great time at Sequoia absolutely loved it um, and looking forward to seeing some very very different views in Joshua Tree So this is Highway 58 going west, no, east, I beg your pardon, Highway 58 going east um, as we're heading over, at the moment we're heading towards Mojave. The landscape now there's the rail track. Um, much more sort of desert-like here with these strange looking trees which Phil informs me are in fact Joshua trees which we think we will be seeing quite a few of but lots of sort of scrubby plants and you know the succulents that you see in the more sort of desert landscape. So very different to some of the lush landscapes which we've seen earlier in our trip. the train so we are actually on route 66 woohoo so probably be a fair bit of traffic but it's quite exciting to say we've actually been on it Joshua Tree National Park. So this is a bit of real dream come true for me. Another place I've always wanted to visit. It's where they shot the album cover for the iconic U2 Joshua Tree album. And it's just quite incredible. We've already seen um, a lot of black tipped jackrabbit or something like that. Um, a, a type of quail, a dead rattlesnake, a ground squirrel, another rabbit, a smaller rabbit thing. So there's loads of wildlife here. Um, there are tortoises you have to look out for as well on the road. Um, and uh, we do hope we're gonna see a road runner. Beep, beep. Um, because this is also somewhere you might find them. As you can see, it's so different from where we were before. Um, you know, with all that lush greenery, but it has a, its own type of beauty. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to be here, I can't tell you. This is, this is just oh, one of them places I really, really wanted to go to. So we're gonna do a, um, a tour through the park. We're not getting out and walking. Um, it's currently 86 and that's only 10 o'clock in the morning and this is a desert so we're going to stop at places like this um, have a look Phil's got his camera all set up so we'll take some pictures um, you've got a place of interest here this is that the barren or bountiful exhibit as you can see those beautiful rocks oh I adore them I don't know it's something about this landscape I really like so as you can tell I'm hugely excited so uh, I do hope you enjoyed this little
the southern part of the park heading towards Cottonwood and this is interesting because the trees have all gone um, we've just seen the Choya uh, so about 18 miles to Cottonwood Springs we've just seen the Choya plants but this is a very different type of landscape again um, look at that I don't know if you can see that on the video but there's some dust whirling round we're not quite sure what's causing it um, I'm going to come round again um, but we're getting closer to it very strange perhaps it's an alien creature to San Clemente, bit of a drive, a uh, couple of hours, but <laughs> that's nothing after yesterday. Hey, we were on the road six hours yesterday. So a couple of hour drive, um, fairly major roads most of the way, including a toll road. Um, but it's the middle of the day, hopefully traffic won't be too bad. Up ahead you'll see there's a Greyhound bus and look at that land and a lot of that haze you can see in front of the mountains is caused by pollution sadly so um, the air quality is quite poor so we're on the palm springs city limits here just coming through on the i-10 going west still and we have ahead of us all the wind farms and it's extremely windy here so there's no surprise that this is full of wind south and it's very busy it has taken us longer we probably should have left earlier this morning so I think a tip would be if you're gonna do if you're ever gonna do what we did leave early um, and if you're gonna drive through Joshua Tree back down to LA definitely 